the same situation at all. Uh, it's dangerous. And um, this experience that we've gone through, and of course the other house on the ranch has been broken into many times, and then we have another place on the Pecos River, and that's been broken into many times. And so what we do on the ranch is we're very careful like I throw the door open to the barn and I look very carefully in the barn before I go in and I conduct the rest of my life on those ranches that way. So it's kind of a new new, new ball game now. Yeah. What are the politicians not understanding? Because <laughs> oh, let me play something for you really quickly okay. and you get your reaction. Let's watch. The president's distorting what's going on at the southern border of the United States of America. This is a crisis of the president's own making. He claimed that we're facing an invasion at the border. The president called it a national security crisis. Well, there is a crisis today. It's a crisis of leadership. Political talking points, your reaction? Uh, that's a bunch of bull. <laughs> really, it's, uh, they don't understand what's going down there. Uh, our lives are completely disrupted by all of the illegals crossing over. We can't even go to our ranch on the Pecos River because the Border Patrol has warned us to stay away because there's so much drug traffic going across the, the ranch that they're afraid for our safety to even go on our property. And people, and both of you, thank you for being here tonight. American citizens, their lives affected and you know, I think we, we show the humanitarian aspect of this, but we have to remember everyone is paying for this. Taxpayer dollars are going to cover all of these costs, and individual property owners, ranchers, their lives, their families' livelihood also put on the line. And